Ladies and gentlemen, the 1982 Walt Disney World Ambassador, Jeannie Thiel. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. On behalf of the Disney organization, I would like to welcome you all to the dedication of Epcot Computer Central, presented by Sperry Univac. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the chairman of the board of Walt Disney Productions, Card Walker. Good morning. Thank you, Jeannie. Along with the dedication of the Epcot Computer Central, I will want to mention our Studer Computer Review. It's a wonderful show and you'll all get to see it. At this very moment, somewhere over the Atlantic, two Concorde jets are flying at speeds of almost 1,400 miles an hour, faster than a rifle bullet. Their Atlantic crossing from Paris and London to New York and Washington will take less than four hours. At two o'clock this afternoon, both these supersonic aircraft will land at Orlando International Airport and will have about 200 guests that are coming from those two countries to visit Epcot Center. And incidentally, they're gonna land simultaneously on two runways at the same time. The plane itself, the trip nor the landing would have been conceivable without the computer. This vital tool for progress has extended the mind of man and allowed accomplishments that otherwise might have been impossible to even attempt. Some would go so far to say that today's society could not exist without the computer. Certainly, one thing is certain that we couldn't operate this place without the computer. Our ride-through attractions, our hundreds of audio animatronic figures, our motion pictures, our display fountains, inventory controls, our world key information kiosks all operate or controlled by computers here in the Communicore. This is the crossroads of Epcot Center. The computer systems you will see here, in fact, help run a major portion of not only just Epcot Center, but of all of Walt Disney World. While it may seem the computers have always been with us, they really appeared on the scene less than an eye blink ago in the age of mankind. Just over 35 years ago, about the time Americans were seeing a fuzzy picture coming on a thing called television, most of the residents of southwest Philadelphia noticed their lights would occasionally go dim. The mystery was solved when it was discovered that just down the road at the University of Pennsylvania, some young scientists were turning on a 30-ton machine with 18,000 vacuum tubes. The machine, which was called ENIAC, was the first computer. It occupied most of a large basement room, and perhaps it generated more heat than light then, but in only three decades, it has unquestionably emerged as the most important tool ever created. Our computer systems in operation today at Epcot Center are almost four generations more advanced than ENIAC, which was invented by the same people who helped pioneer the forerunners of this fine company, Sperry. I believe the show you will see is an excellent illustration of entertainment with a purpose. We at Walt Disney World are very pleased to be associated with Sperry, and now it's my great pleasure to introduce to you their president and chief executive officer, Joe Kroger. Joe? Thank you, Card, very much. Uh, it seems not too long ago, but it was uh, some three years ago that I was here, and with some some other people from Sperry Univac and your associates, we flew in a helicopter around this scene and there was one big hole and I must admit, I was a bit concerned as I'm sure you were a bit concerned that we'd meet this day, but certainly Disney proved itself again and again and accomplished the task. I have a wife and uh, two children here, but my two boys said that they had heard enough from me and decided not to come this morning, but my wife is somewhere in the crowd afraid to poke her head out, I believe. I truly am uh, proud to be here this morning to officially dedicate Epcot Computer Central. I'm particularly pleased that so many of our employees are here as well, 
and particularly some of the employees that are, are retired and in, hopefully enjoying themselves in Florida. We are here to commemorate an idea. It's an idea that has grown to become the most imaginative and exciting computer exhibit ever, ever developed, in my opinion. And it's on behalf of Sperry and its employees, over 85,000 employees all over the world, that I dedicate Epcot Computer Center to you. But this idea did not, did not just grow by itself, as you all know. On the contrary, it took an overwhelming amount of creativity, of teamwork, of persistence mostly, but most of all it took imagination combined with care and commitment. Appropriately, the Computer Central is loca located in Communicore, the main street of Future World, at the very heart of Epcot, Epcot Center. Beyond this backdrop, Spur Univac computers are, hopefully, and they better be, hard at work handling the vast <laughs> environmental systems and entertainment attractions throughout Walt Disney World at the Epcot Center. They are a vital part of the fun, we believe. The fantasy, the education, the Walt, that Walt Disney called a living blueprint of the future. As Walt intended, I believe, Epcot Center opens up the miracles, the mysteries of the world to many of the, you people and to many of the people of the world for the first time. In the computer industry, we have a few miracles and a few mysteries of our own, probably too many. They help us create, no question, that's what Disney World's all about. And as we see all around us today, they free the innovative spirit to dazzle us in artistic form, in sound and color, as was demonstrated this morning by this terrific group. Epcot Computer Central is a created team effort of Sperry and the Disney organizations. It makes the miracles of the computer and some of its mysteries accessible. It is our way of explaining, of anticipating, of opening minds to the most exciting, far-reaching development of the decade, the computer, along with Disney. We at Sperry salute the entire Disney organization for their achievement, for their talent, for their creativity. They brought Epcot from Walt Disney's greatest dream to reality. In our 11 years of close association with them, we are singularly impressed, no question as everyone is, with their professionalism, their spirit, their feeling, their talent that characterized the entire Disney organization and you can read it in all their minds and faces. We take great pride, great pride in being associated with Disney in this impressive project and we look forward to this continuing association over the coming decades. Together we will continue because this is just the beginning to dream even more about imaginative uses for the computer. Like all of the Epcot Center, the idea, the concept, the reality we dedicate this morning stands as an invitation to all visitors to enter and experience the future, to open their eyes to a brand new world, a shining star. Thank you all for joining us this morning. And now we proudly dedicate Epcot Computer Central Presented by Sperry Univac, and introduce Ken Jennings, better known as Early the Pearly. You see, my friends, the computer makes life easier, saves me time and headaches too. He sorts things out, analyzes in a shape. My enormous problem, to him's a piece of cake. He's got the great bigger memory like an elephant. Utilizes knowledge without end. That's why I'm a router for me computer. Everybody needs a friend. When my work piles up and I'm seeing red Cause I need five arms and an extra head I find the computer becomes me troubleshooter He keeps miles and miles of facts on file My wish is his command Nothing is cuter than a computer when I need a helping hand 
In your heart there's a place, a magical space where it all begins. With your mind as a guide, you light up inside and it starts to spin. Just close your eyes and dream of things to come. In dreams we make tomorrow, we've just begun. We've just begun. We've just begun. Open your mind, a fantasy. On this 18th day of October, 1982, we salute Sperry Univac and declare Epcot Computer Central officially dedicated. <laughs>